All right, everyone. So now in order to understand the real differences between Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud, we have to understand the backend details and some basic concepts about hosting servers. Let's go. Let's say we are a startup company and we want to host our own Tableau application and build the entire infrastructure for that reason. There is a long list of tasks that should be done. Of course, the first thing that we need to do is to go and buy some hardwares and configure them, like servers that will run the applications. And each server needs as well storage, so we have to provide additionally storage infrastructure like some hard disk driver and SSDs. Servers need to be as well connected to the internet, therefore we have to provide as well all the networking infrastructure. Once we have all those stuffs, then we have all hardware needed. The next thing that we need to do is that we are gonna go and start installing and configuring some softwares. Like we are gonna install an operating system, for example Windows or Linux, and many other middlewares. Once the operating system is in place, then we have to install and configure Tableau server application. Once we have all software and hardware ready and running, it's finally now the time to set up our Tableau project and we have to manage the following tasks. We have to start adding users to the Tableau server and map them to the correct licenses. We have as well to create schedules and tasks to refresh our data inside Tableau server and then we have to start monitoring the Tableau jobs. Alright, so now we come to the big question that we have to answer. Who will manage what? The first option you have if you decide to manage all these layers. That means we are talking about the on-premises model. So it's clear ownership. You manage everything from top to bottom. Hardware, the software and the project itself. But now if you say, you know what, this is too much to manage. We don't have the money to buy all those stuff and hardwares at the start and we don't have the time to take care of them and maintain them. Then you will start thinking about outsourcing the hardwares where you're gonna buy a service from cloud providers like Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS or Google Cloud so that they manage the hardware and you manage both software and projects. And this is what we call infrastructure as a service, IaaS, the first letter of each word. But now if you say, you know what, our IT team is very small. We don't even have the time to keep those softwares updated. Each time Tableau makes a new release, we have to install a new version of Tableau server, which is really wasting our time. And we are not able to focus on our core business project. We don't have the resources to manage our own software. Then you start thinking about outsourcing the software layer. To do that, you can buy a service from Tableau, it's called Tableau Clouds, where Tableau team gonna manage everything for you, both hardwares and softwares. And this is what we call Software as a Service SaaS. Okay guys, so now let's summarize and compare the three hosting options. The first point is about hosting setup. On premises, you need Tableau server installed in your organization servers. In IaaS, you need as well Tableau server installed in cloud service provider, for example, Microsoft Azure. And in SaaS, you just buy Tableau cloud product. And now for the question, who manage what? In on-premises, you manage everything, the hardware, software, and your project. And there is no outsourcing. In IaaS, you manage both software and your project, and the cloud service provider can manage only the hardware. In SaaS, you manage only your business projects, and Tableau can manage both hardware and software. So now let's check the advantages and disadvantages of each service model. For the on-premises, the good thing here is that you have full control of everything, the hardware and the software, and your data remains behind your firewalls. This is very important if you have critical or sensitive information that should not stored outside of the company's firewall. But the drawbacks here, you need a dedicated hardware and software administrators to deal with the maintenance, patching and many other tasks. It is very costly at the start of the project, you have to pay a lot for the hardwares and the softwares and it's not flexible. It's really hard to scale up or scale down your hardwares as needed. Having all those stuff, generally you have less time for your business project. 
All right, so now let's move to the IS. The first advantage, it gives you flexibility. You can skill up, skill down the hardwares as the business needs. And there is no upfront cost for buying hardwares. But the downside of IS is that you still need administrators to manage your softwares to do installations, patchings of your softwares. And if you don't pay attention for the cost, you might end up paying big bills. Now let's move to SaaS. The main advantage in SaaS is that it allows your IT team to focus only on the core business projects and allows you to implement projects in very short time. And the other good thing is that your software will be always up to date. Tableau team gonna deal with that. But the downside of SaaS is loss of control. You will be at the mercy of Tableau team if anything bad happen like security problems, all your organization's data might be compromised. And the other disadvantage is that you might have bad performance or networking issues connecting Tableau to your source systems. And my advice here is that you should avoid reinventing the wheel. Always take advantage of services that do things not part of your core business. Every hour you spend patching an OS or installing update for your software or replacing hardwares is an hour not spent enhancing and refining your dashboards in Tableau. All right, so with that, we have learned the differences between those three methods of hosting Tableau. And next, we will have an overview of the Tableau server and Tableau cloud. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.